number one source for sports. Sports Radio, 97.1 The Fan. Anthony Rothman, Dave Biddle, 97.1 The Fan. Very exciting week coming up for Ohio State as they try to get revenge and go into uh, Bloomington. Tough place to play, tough place to win. But uh, I guess nobody really truly expects them, maybe outside their own team and a little pocket of Buckeye Nation. And to get a little insight on that, we bring in uh, Jeff Bowles, assistant coach, Ohio State. How's it going, bud? Well, I'm good. How are you, you guys doing today? Fantastic. Good, coach. Um, I guess the first question is, how do you feel about your chances going into Bloomington uh, coming off of the game where they just, I mean, they had their three big players that just went 20-plus against you here. Uh, Jeff, what did you learn from that game that you can take into Bloomington and try to pull this upset? Yeah, I think a couple things. Um, you know, number one, Indiana really thrives on transition, You know, whether it's a made basket, a missed basket, or a turnover. You know, they really try to create, you know, off of, uh, you know, your miscues. So, you know, we got to take care of the ball. we got to take good shots, you know, ma- make them, uh, you know, work. And, you know, Coach Jen did a stat where, you know, if we pass the ball more than four times, you know, something good happened. So, offensively, we have to go in and execute our game plan. And, you know, defensively, um, you know, Wofford played really well against us. And, um, you know, so does Zeller and Ola Dippo. So, you can't be, you know, really key in on one guy. Uh, they were, they remind me of us a couple of years ago, you know, when Jared was a freshman, where they got a dominant big guy and then, you know, pieces around him that can all score. So, you know, it's going to take a collective defensive effort. And, you know, we, we can't uh, allow them just to take us off the dribble and get points in the paint. Jeff, speaking of the dominant big guy in Zeller, um, it, it is a matchup problem in a lot of ways. But I guess let me take you to Amir Williams. And, and did you expect Amir – to be more developed at this point, what do you think is uh, his biggest challenge right now? And uh, when you try to get into a, a game like this, no, well, the biggest challenge is you know keeping him out of foul trouble. The first game we played down, he got two quick fouls and sat the whole half, and then picked up a third one quick in the second half. And you know we can't afford you know him to be on the bench you know uh, in this game. You know he, we we need to use his length and in inside against Zeller and just you know make Zeller work. Uh, you know, and, and shoot tougher shots. So, you know, Amir, Amir was playing really good at a really good stretch. And, you know, after the Indiana game where he sat and got in foul trouble, um, you know, kind of hurt him. And, and you know, he, he understands that we have to uh, have him on the floor, you know, on the defensive end. Jeff, there's been a lot of talk this season, you know, who's going to step up if, if Deshaun has an off night or even if he's on, who's going to be that second scorer. Well, lately you guys have had guys step up and then some Aaron Kraft against Michigan State. Lenzel Smith against Northwestern, really both games against Northwestern, Lenzel's played well. Talk about that. It seems like you're starting to get guys that are that are really stepping up other than Deshaun. Yeah, you know, it's just kind of been the, the, the thing the whole year is who, who is going to be that second, third guy. And, uh, you know, Deshaun is Deshaun and, and has given the, us the consistent points. And, uh, you know, it's, it was good to see Aaron, you know, step up, hit those shots. You know, there's was, there was lap against Michigan State. And then, you know, Northwestern came out in the 2-3 zone and Lenzel was able to get off. You know, early and um, you know, anytime you have multiple scores like that, you know, you're more difficult to guard, and uh, it just makes you, uh, you know, tougher on the offensive end. Jeff, I want to ask you about recruiting real quick too. I know you can't mention any of the guys in the 2014 class that are verbally committed, but you got a couple guys you can talk about in that 2013 class: Mark Loving and Cam Williams that are signed. And then, just generally speaking, if you can talk about how recruiting is going, how do you guys feel about how recruiting is going right now for the Buckeyes? Yeah, we feel pretty good about it. And obviously, it's a never-ending process. Um, you know. Mark uh, Mark is still uh, you know playing in the in the state tournament and you know they won their league and and uh, you know he was player of the year in that league uh, which is which is a pretty good league you know, in Ohio and you know Cam just won the BCL championship the other night and uh, you know one thing about those two is they can both really shoot the basketball and you know some sometimes this year that's been a problem for us so you know, they're going to give us two guys coming in that can really shoot the ball and they'll have their adjustments like any freshman does you know from a, a quickness. An athleticism and uh, you know uh, just the pace of the game and the strength of the game coming in, but it'll be good to get them up this summer and you know get them acclimated, playing with our guys, get them in the weight room, and uh, you know two great kids off the court as well. And I know you can't talk about 2014, but you know specific guys, but feeling good about overall how that class is shaping up. Yeah, you know a lot of times during the course of both seasons, you know our season and their season, you know kind of winds dies down a little bit. Your your contact is more through. You know, phone and, and uh, you know, email, et cetera, text messages. 
Um, so, you know, guys are, you know, getting into conference tour or state tournaments now and, and, um, you know, it's getting down to it. And, you know, you always look at the, the kids you're recruiting, you know, they're competing for championships, you know, guys who come from winning programs and, you know, that's, that's been pretty good for us. Talking to Jeff Bowles, Ohio State assistant coach here, Bishop and Rothman, Anthony Rothman, Dave Biddlin today. Um, let me take you back to, uh, Lenzel real fast. He had that great game in Northwestern. Is that raising? Is that making the coaching staff's expectations uh, go up for what he can provide this month for you? Yeah, I mean, Lenzel's a, a guy who can knock down shots, and you know when he when he plays within himself and and, and does that, he's really really good, and and uh, that's kind of what we're we're trying to get out of him. And you know, anytime you can, like like we talked about, you can have that second or third scoring you know guy with Deshaun. You know, it just makes it more difficult to guard. And, and uh, you know, Lenzel is playing with a lot of confidence right now, and, and Northwestern game, you know, definitely helped him. Coach, at this time of year, I know you're focused on what you have the task at hand. You've got a chance still at the Big Ten title, and I, I would think with the roller coaster that you guys have been on and, and the knocks you've taken against some of the ranked teams that you've played, to still have a chance to go into Bloomington and have almost one game really hinge on this thing must be fairly exciting for you guys. Yeah, you know, anytime you're, you're at this point in the season, you're playing for something, the conference championship, it's definitely exciting. And, uh, you know, I know, I know our guys are excited and, and, um, you know, we're, we're playing for something as well, uh, as, as they are. They're trying to win an outright championship. You know, we're trying to, you know, win one more game and, and keep our hopes alive. And, you know, I think, I think with what Thad's done with this program and winning five of the last seven big Ten championships, you know, those are the expectations that we have. And, you know, guys have been in this situation, and you know, we we know it won't be easy. But you know, we went into Michigan State last year in a tough environment, and, and uh, just kept chopping wood. And you know, William Buford hit that huge shot at the end. Deshaun Thomas is obviously uh, you know a star uh, in every way, shape, and form. But his three point shooting's been a little off over the last several games. Uh, what's your analysis of Deshaun right now, and, and what he needs to do for you guys, and and where you guys can be most successful? With him, I noticed you went a little small. He was in the post a little bit uh, against Northwestern. That may have just been a matchup that you guys saw, and you really made a great adjustment there. But what's your analysis of his game right now, going forward to the most important part of the year? I think the last few games, you know, Deshaun's been pressing a little bit, and, and a lot of times when he misses his first, you know, couple three point shots, you know, he, he presses, and, and you know, there's no one that works harder on his shot. You know, he, he, he and Aaron Kraft, after every practice, before every practice. You know they're they're working on their shot, and and you know, the the thing with Deshaun is, hey, he's, he's starting to realize there's other ways to impact the game, whether it's rebounding or, you know, like you said against Northwestern, he scored I think two or three, you know, down in, in the low post late in the game, and and uh, you know hit some big free throws, and and that that's the thing that he just got to realize that, you know, if the shot's not there the first time, you know, keep moving the basketball, and and uh, you know it'll come back to you eventually, and and, and get a better shot, and. You know, he, he's, he's obviously a big part of our offense, and, and we need him to score to win, and you know, we just got to keep working the ball. All right, so I take you, Coach Dickerson, Chris Gent, Paulus. Uh, who, who am I taking there in the pickup game? Who am I drafting first? Um, I would take Coach Gent. You know, I, I don't know how old Coach Gent is now, but he's still got a lot of game. So 40% uh, from three or whatever, he can just shoot the lights uh, out. If it, was, if it was a half-court game, I'd probably pick myself. No doubt. I mean, team but captain, it, Bobcat, absolutely. You make it a 94 foot game. I probably, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick myself in the top two. Who thinks he's a better quarterback, Paulus or Kraft? <laughs> if you ask both of them, they'll each say themselves, and that that would be a, an interesting thing. And we went over to uh, spring football last year, and we were walking through the Woody indoor Woody, and uh, Coach Paulus saw football, and he just took a, a beeline to, to it, and him and Coach Jen were running routes. Yeah, you know, for about five minutes. So that'd be a, that'd be a neat contest to have. You know, who who could throw the ball better out of those two? Okay, senior day coming up against Illinois after the Indiana game, and uh, you know Evan Ravenel. We you know he was chewed out by Thad Mata. I think he took it like a man, and we know Thad Mata has a good sense of humor. So we came up with an idea maybe for senior day, Evan Ravenel being the lone senior. Maybe he can come out and and, and yell at Thad Mata for senior day. What do you think, Coach? I don't think it'd be a good idea. Probably. And, uh, okay, never you know, mind. Never mind. We won't go with that. Evan is, you know, he's a competitor, and you know, he, he knows he was wrong what he did, and, and I apologize afterwards. Obviously, you know, send a Twitter message out, and and for a fifth year senior, and and what he's been been through in this program for the last you know three years, and you know, he's 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 uh you know 
played a great role for us. No, he handled that like a man. I think, you know, I think, you know, and he, I liked how Thad handled it. I think the team needed some juice there, and I liked how, how Ravenel handled it as a fifth-year senior. Like you said, came out the next day on Twitter. Um, you know, you wouldn't see a lot of players do that, and, and I think he handled it like a man, and it just goes to show what type of guy he is. And uh, I think it, it lit a fire under the team that day. So I, I liked it personally. Yeah, definitely, and, and like I said, it must have been a real slow news Friday because right. with, that, with that making ESPN and then nationally, I'm like, you know, some, something's wrong with a slow, slow news day Friday. Ohio State sells, Jeff. There you go. There you go. Coach, uh, thanks a lot for taking the time. Good luck in Bloomington, and uh, keep on keeping on. I know it's an important part of the year, and hopefully you guys can flip the switch and uh, make another run. Thanks so much. Okay, thank you, Anthony, Dave. Good talking to you guys. Great thanks, talking coach. with you. Jeff Bowles, Ohio State